Hello and welcome back to our Let's Play of Might and Magic Book 1. So last time I said we were going to level up some and we did. Grugtar is now level 7 and he actually as a paladin gets access to cleric spells. So I can cast level 1 cleric spells now. Uh, and the same thing goes for Sylvanas. She gets access to the sorcerer spells so she can cast uh, level 1 sorcerer spells which is pretty cool. Uh, so, uh, so Kurgan was really kind of our important level up almost because he gets access to more spells and uh, quite funnily he gets access to a protection spell called Psychic Protection and that would have helped us survive the Psychic Blasts when we were trying to go to uh, I guess all the stuff in the Dungeon of Dusk and now that we have that we can probably go and do it. Uh, he also gets a spell called Guard Dog which allows us just to get better protection and whatnot. So that's cool. It adds another spell to our protection stack, but hey, we're leveling up. And so uh, now we're back here at Sorpagal, and I was trying to figure out what to do. There's no way we can do the Lord and Spectron quest where we go and attack a stronghold because we haven't completed another quest line. So in order to handle the quests in this game, you can only have one quest active at a time. To break a quest, you cast a spell, 3-7 by a cleric, and that removes the quests from whoever you're taking it from. Um, but it doesn't completely destroy the quest. I've already made sure and tested that me removing the quest isn't going to ruin our playthrough or anything like that. So um, with that being said, I think the next thing we really need to do is actually go back to Erlequin. Uh, if we can get back to Erlequin, uh, then we can go down into the Erlequin vault. Uh, oh, there's something else I want to show you about Erlequin that might be pretty cool to you. So let's go ahead and fly to, uh, to it, and that's going to be B1. And we can go south. Yep, and should be somewhere around here. Okay, that's the other castle, which we might do quests from, I don't know. But let's go into the Erlequin. And, uh, you know, on the map, you can actually see that the, the town has quite a lot of treasures, right? I can refer back to a map that we had used earlier from Addicted Game Wise or Blogging Games. And so here's Erlequin's map, and all the lettered I's are the town treasures. And we know that if you get the treasure, the guards will come attack us and kill us. And it is not really worth it too much because in grinding and leveling up, I thought that if you couldn't level up and pay for training, you would miss experience points. I found out that that was not the case because you can see Grogtar's experience is 73712 and so is Kurgan's and Sylvanas's. And so, well, I think maybe Sylvanas's is slightly different because of deaths and whatnot, but nearly everyone else has... Um, you know, the same experience, even though that they were hard capped before they got trained and stuff like that. So that's not really that big of a deal. So it doesn't uh, stop us from leveling up. And but if you did want cash quick, what you could do is you could come into this room here, which on the map is right here. So we're trying to go into this little area right here, and then we're going to go north into the eye. And let's go ahead and unlock. Oh, failed. Okay, there we go. Success. And so if I go north here, it's going to ask me if I want to steal the town treasure. I'm just going to go ahead and say yes. We get a cloth sack and let's undo it. And so we, we find 600 gold and some gems, right? Which is actually a pretty good amount. Um, and the way you escape from the guards, because if I exited this area like this, we would be caught and we'd have to fight diamond golems, which the guide actually says later on we can take care of for lots of experience. But instead what we can do is I can use a cleric spell called surface. And I think it's four, eight, right? Yep. Four, eight. And casting that will take us outside and we can actually go back into Erlequin and you know, they won't know they'll, they will be none the wiser that we took their gold. Um, and all you have to do is go back into an inn, and then you can rinse and repeat, repeat this for pretty much infinite gold, right? So uh, I kind of, and I did not find this in a guide. I don't know if this exists somewhere, but 
I think I really just found kind of an infinite gold trick that is fairly easy to do. Uh, and if you know anything about scripting like auto hotkey, you could set up an auto hotkey to run this and you could have pretty much infinite gold in less than a day, you know, nine, 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 nine gold. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, I, I don't like exploiting games like this. I typically would rather spend the time anyways to just go ahead and grind out on some monsters uh, anyways. Uh, but that's just me. So if you find yourself playing this game sometime and you want to really try it out, there you go. There's a uh, there's a there's an exploit for infinite gold, which I'm sure other people pr probably pointed out somewhere. But honestly, I don't know because this game is fairly old. Uh, all right. With that being said, let's go ahead and go down to the basement. Uh, let me make sure I have enough spell points. I do. So let's go down here. All right. So we're in the vault. And uh, let's go ahead and grab the map and see what there is to see. So there's lots of encounters we could do. I would rather not do all the encounters, but it looks like there is definitely something in uh, the B and the C. So let's go into the B. And I think we can just travel straight, right? But maybe not. All right, so let's go ahead and lock the door here. Okay. Search nothing. Huh. All right. Um, okay, let's try this one. <clears throat> Covered with flashing lights, the wall speaks. Please enter the access code. So, if you remember, we did find some sort of code somewhere. Uh, hmm. There's numbers in Castle Blackridge, remember, in Edge etched in silver atis dash 19 dash 31 ud5 uh, and some other letters but um, there was another message called a message in gold reads yicu2 me3 so maybe let's try that one looks like they're the same number of letters so uh, yicu2 me3 okay thank you fields deactivated all right, so that so last time we were in here, remember something kept zapping me and kind of like blocking the way. Um, well, we just deactivated those fields. So now let's go down to C. And let's try to unlock here. Okay, unlock failed. Unlock failed. All right, come on, Ferris. There you go. Oh, and we found something. So go ahead and grab that. And 31 gold. Oh, and it looks like there's a lot of treasure in here. Okay. I wonder though if this happens every time then I mean what I just found about the exploit is kind of pointless right <laughs> okay and of course we need to go ahead and cast back our stuff here I have a feeling that gold sometimes in RPGs gold is highly important at the start but then as you start to play the game it doesn't really feel you know I, I would say that important almost let's go ahead okay i don't think we need to do anything there even though we took a little bit oh and there's a barrier there okay huh so we can't so there's treasure all around but we can't get to that hmm interesting interesting so how can we get uh Do we just have to use dispel or something on it? Do I have a dispel spell? Oh, yeah. So, okay, it looks like we're not there yet. We're almost there, I think. Yep, we, we are almost there. So I think maybe at level uh, nine, we can cast dispel. But actually, I think that that is actually um, for in combat only. So I don't know how to deactivate the barrier. Maybe it's on the other side, uh, possibly, like we go to the other place that is there and go to the other console, maybe? Okay. Oh, there's the acid. Okay, let's go ahead and rest and then we can cast. Because we've taken two traps to the face. Okay nothing 
All right, so I guess we don't have to necessarily activate the panel anymore, but clearly we have missed, or maybe we just don't understand exactly how to dispel the barrier. Ah, uh, yes. So I went and looked online, and uh, it appears that there is a spell called Etherealize, which if we had that, we could, in fact, go through those barriers to get. But... uh <laughs> Uh, we'll we'll have to wait on that, I suppose. So let's go ahead and well, oh, where am I exactly? Okay, so there's an encounter here. Let's go ahead and fight him. I'm getting messed up with the menus a little bit. I think we yeah, we all have our protections, so that's good. We definitely want to take care of the cockatrices because. That could be devastating if they change us to stone. Although we could probably get to a uh, temple no problem. But I would rather not have that happen. Okay. Cyclops I think we can handle fairly well too. And let's go ahead and cast Produce Flame on the Cacatrice. Alright. Shoot them. And Kurgan go ahead and cast your Lightning Bolt at C. And there we go. Taking care of the real big threat there. Uh, gnomes can do stuff too, so we can't just ignore them, because what if they get a get a lucky sleep or something like that on us? But I think they'll be nice to us today. That's always good. Let's go ahead and cast Frost, or produce Frost, and uh, yeah. Go ahead and shoot the Cyclops. Kurgan, go ahead and cast your Lightning Bolt on them. And we can control A through this last Cyclops. Awesome, cool. So yeah, um, I don't really know where we are, to be honest. I suppose we need to go down a hallway somewhere. So here's a door. Oh, you know what? I know where we are now. Okay, cool. Yeah, so we need to walk down here in the middle part. And so here's where we can access the uh, the codes and whatnot. So we need to walk up and go into this room for more treasure. Cool. Nope, there's a barrier there. Okay. Arrows, all right. How much damage did they do? Not too much. Cool, get some more money. All right, I think I'm probably gonna, oh, no, it did not poison us. That's cool. And there's a barrier in the middle of the door, okay. Uh, so now we need to go back down here and walk all the way around. And there should be some more treasure on the other side. And wow, okay, so that is a lot. Uh, but I think we can take them fairly well. We haven't rested yet. We did take some damage from the traps, but I think all in all we'll be okay. So let's go ahead and cast that and uh, destroy some destroy some monsters right off the bat. Let's go ahead and shoot the battle rat. Uh, Kirk can go ahead and cast fireball, which you don't have the points for. Okay. Let's go ahead and cast and said. Let's go ahead and cast sleep. Let's do that. Let's see if we can sleep any of them. Uh, but really, we shouldn't have really too much stuff. For Grugtar, I'm going to let him cast Repeal or whatever the uh, Turn Undead is. Oh, and that didn't work. So, okay, we're just going to, we're going to control A through this fight. I think we'll be A-OK. -okay. So, we're going to rest right after. Yep, there we go. Cool. And let's go ahead and rest. Cast our spells. So cool, so when we get level, I think, <laughs> some super high up level, maybe level 10 or 11, we can actually cast Etherealize. So that's four levels away. That is quite far. So, okay, here we go. Get some of this. Although we don't really need it too badly right now, but like I said, I think that our method of uh, of getting the town treasure may be a little bit better, maybe not, not too sure. Okay, yeah, this is definitely the room with the treasure in it. Uh, but yeah, you could do this too, right? I assume go steal some treasure down here. And then, oh, I hope us stealing the treasure down here isn't going to cause the guards to kill us when we go back up. Oh, lightning bolt struck us. Yeah, it's no problem. Okay. Cool. Yeah, we found a lot of treasure. 
Fantastic, and there's still that barrier in the middle of the room. So I guess when we get that spell, let me write down that in our gold here in our goals here. Just a just a quick little note to say Erloquin Vault. We can come back. So awesome. All right. Um I'm just gonna go ahead and just walk back. Oh, nope, it's on the other side, isn't it? All right. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Hopefully the uh, guards don't arrest us for any reason. We'll just say, oh, I have no idea what happened to your treasure. All right, cool. When we come back, I think uh, our plan is that we're going to go back to the Dungeon of Dusk, maybe, and try and get to that number in the top right corner that we didn't get to, just so we can say we finished that. So uh, thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye-bye.